And away we go, kids. Does it work? Hello. Today I'm going to tell you about the legend of King Keret of Kuber, an ancient Ugaritic tale from 1500 BCE. The clan of the king has died out. All his wives have perished. Some by Reshef, the plague god. Some by the pages of the sea and river god, Yam. Some by the spear, the entirety of his lineage came to an end. Karet weeps so hard that tears fall like shekels to the ground. Exhausted, sleep overpowers him and he begins to dream. In his dream, El comes to him. He asks him, Karet, why do you weep? Do you wish for the kingship of El? Karet answers, what need have I of silver and gold? And I have no family to share it with. El instructs him on how to make a sacrifice to himself and to Baal. Then he is to gather everyone from his kingdom and march to the well-watered kingdom of Udum, a gift from El. And he is to take the king's eldest daughter, Hare, as a wife. After seven days of travel, they will reach the kingdom of Udum and surround the city and camp out and quietly wait there until the king Pabil can no longer sleep. Pabil will send his messengers to King Karet and say, what is it that you want? Take all the gold and silver that you need. Take the maidens. Take the horses, take the chariots, but do not besiege the well-watered kingdom of Udom, the gift of El. Karet awakens from his dream and realizes El has just approached him and taught him and instructed him on how to get his wife and be blessed with a family. Immediately, Karet follows the instructions from El and sacrifices a bull to Baal and to El. He gathers his army of peoples, 300 times 10,000, like storm clouds, by 10,000 like the early rains. After marching for three days, they come to the sanctuary of Atherat of two tires. Asherah. Elat of the Sidonians. Asherah. It is there that Karet vows to Asherah that if Hare becomes his wife, he will give twice her weight in silver and three times the weight in gold. After his vow, the army proceeds to the well-watered kingdom of Udom, and on the seventh day, they arrive. They encamp around the city quietly, and the people within are unable to feed and water their animals. The noise of the whining animals finally becomes so loud that King Pabil is unable to sleep, and he sends messengers to King Karet. The messengers of Pabil tell King Karet, please take any gold and silver it is that you wish. Take any maidens, take the horses, the chariots, but do not besiege the kingdom of Udom. Karet says, what do I need with gold and silver when I have no family to share it with? What I wish is your daughter Hure, so I can have a family. She is the eldest daughter of Pabil, and she is beautiful like Anath. Her eyes lapis lazul like Athtar. There is a break in the text, but it seems that Pabil acquiesced and Hure did become the wife of Karet. She would be greatly missed by all the people for all the good that she did for them, but she does become the bride. Karet holds a banquet where all the gods are invited into his house. Here, El says that he will bless noble King Karet, cage of the gods. Hore will bear him sons and daughters. They will suck the milk of Atherat and Anath, the wet nurses of the gods. Karet's family grows as promised, and Atherat, Asherah begins to think about the vow that he made at her sanctuary in Tyre. Consider, I beseech you, has Karet then broken or set aside his vow? The text then breaks off, but we soon learn that Karet falls ill. Hare makes an offering and calls the dukes and barons of the city together. She asks them to make offerings for the ill king. The eldest son, Yasib, will soon have to be king. His children wonder, will you die, father, as men? Noble King Karet, page of El? His children call him Prodigy of Latapan and the Holy One. El Hu, one of Karet's sons, tells his sister, Thitamat, that Karet is ill, and they rush to him. We rejoiced in your life, our father. We exalted in your immortality. But now shall you then die, father, as men? A peace offering of oil was made from a bowl, and like the bowl, they went round the edges of the watery earth. But all the most high God let the rain fall down. A delight to the earth was the rain of Baal, the most high. Now El has heard their plea. El calls the stewardess and the steward of the gods to the temple. They are to go up to the parapet of the tower. Latipen, the kindly god, said to the rest of the gods, Who will banish this illness and drive out the plague? None of the gods answer him. Complete silence. A seventh time, and still no answer from the gods. They cannot cure Karet's illness. Latipen, the kindly god, spoke and said, Sit, my sons, sit in your places on the seats of your princely state. I myself will cast a spell and create. I will create what will banish his illness and drive out the plague. He fills his hands with mud and hand crafts, shapes, pinches the clay into a dragon. Shatakat. 
Eld tells the dragon Shatakat, fly to the city in stealth. Cure Karet of his illness by tapping him on his head with your wand. Shatakat truly be victorious. As Shatakat flew in stealth through the city, she wept and cried for Karet. In secret, she found him and tapped him on his head with her wand. And from his temples, the plague escaped. He was cured. Karet calls to his wife, hooray for a meal. He's hungry. As time passes, Yasib, Karet's eldest son, believes his father to be a bit lackadaisical and doesn't think he's taking care of his kingship duties. He's letting bandits run the kingdom. He's not taking care of widows, not feeding the orphan. He's entertaining feudal rivalries. You've been brought down by your own power. Noble King Karet says, may Haran break your head. May you fall down empty handed and be humbled. And that's where the story ends. Okay, y'all, so tell me what you think about the story. Um, there is plenty other Ugaritic tales that I can tell if y'all are interested. Should I do a series on different Ugaritic texts? I don't know what about this story got me shadow banned on TikTok, but whatever. Maybe it'll be better on YouTube. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, so I'm hoping to have a giveaway when I hit 1,000 followers. So, um, yeah, I just have to figure out how to do a giveaway on here. Anywho, let me know if you want more Ugaritic Tales. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification button. <laughs> Did I do a good job?